Hello, my name is Cho Iteng, visual artist from Burma. I live in New York since 2009. wants to go to Burma, who wants to do something in Burma, who wants to know about recent situation in Burma, uh, call me, email me, just to meet with me, to know more about Burma. That is one thing I'm, you know, <laughs> happening these days. Uh, so I'm helping those people. So some of them want to do some business. Some of them really want to do for the like real, really grassroots level of the people t in this transition, uh, tran I don't know how to say, transition time. So, because some people are working as a consultant in the like NGO field, so they see, because they have some experience in other countries, so they really want to go to Burma to help people, that's what they say. So those people meet with me and they ask me what they can do. So recently I'm doing a meeting with those people. And on the other hand, I'm also like thinking like what I can do from here. But recently I'm living here. So before I go back to Burma, what I can do now. So yeah, the problem is I don't trust the government. The recent government, which is like coming from regime, who are, you know, the former general. So, because you know, you can see now some part of Burma, like Kachin State and Rakhine State, you can see some crisis, some problem still going on. So, why these things are happening? Why the government troop and the uh, the ethnic group are fighting. So if they say this is like we are heading off to the democracy, so why these are happening now? That is my question. So for me is, I want to have an optimist, like to see the situation, but sometime, you know, it's hard to say. So that's my own feeling. Freedom of expression, we still have we still lack of that things, still. So that is very important. If we, if the government say like, oh, we are changed, we are doing something changes. So that is very important things. So they can, they can hear our voice. Then they can do, you know, what should they do? This is, we just helping. So if I have a chance to do something, only one, this freedom of expression, that's what we need. We still need that. <laughs> But if you look at the Burma as a, like from international, uh, I don't know how to say, as a foreigners, 
you will see even the other day uh, Hillary, Hillary Clinton uh, say Burma, how Burma changed, how the new government doing great things. But I feel something like, not like that. But when you look at the Burma, you will see the same thing like what she see. But for us, as a Burmese people, are uh, not like that. I don't know how to explain. So, but when you look at Burma from outside, it looks like oh, change. But if you ask Burmese people who are living inside Burma, they will not answer like that. That's my concern because you know, whenever I call my friends, my family, they said, "Don't, don't see your country like other see. It's not like that." Am I in political ideas or not? But maybe. Uh, but just I'm doing, I mean, creating my art, which is really reflect on me, which is from my, I don't know how to say, my, my at, uh, atmosphere, no, the, the, the environment, you know, give me something message or something in, to inspire. So then I I create according to those situation. Then most of the time I'm thinking about Burma, most of the time thinking about what is even I'm here. You know, I think a lot about how can we do to be free from that regime that like so then most of my work is really about that so but on the other hand I think you know I'm also do some others issues some other maybe more personal or more personal experience seeing the world and seeing the you know, as a human being so you can see but I don't know the people always name me that as a political artist but I like it <laughs> because you know what we can leave, you know, that is my, I don't know how to describe, um, we will die one day, so what you can leave for the world, anything, what you can, you know, what is it? So I'm always, always thinking about, this is me, this is my time, before I die, what I can just contribute to the world. So that's always I'm thinking about that. So I'm just living in that society and I don't like, so I'm just express what I don't like. And I just share the other people who has not those experience to notice what happened in the other area, other countries, other, you know, part of the world. So I don't know. <laughs> so just I'm being nature, natural, like just I, create something what I feel and see. So maybe people can name me <laughs> whatever they see, how, however they see me. You know, that is the problem I found out myself uh, because since a couple of years ago after I created the very first installation which is made out of sugar with uh, my uh, partner, uh, a richer street marathon. So what I'm thinking is why I'm always thinking about only you know those things, my country, those things, those like brutal and those you know um, how I live under that system and situation. So sometimes I really want to escape from those things myself. I don't want to create any more about those. Things. But whenever I try to create something, my art, always coming out, all those issues, related to those issues, those things. So then I really can help myself because actually I want to change something else. I want to reach other level or maybe, I don't know, what is it. So since the time I have a, that problem, I thought of myself, I'm always thinking about what I've done like last 10 years and how about my reason or how about my you know, the work in 10 years ago so 
I really want to change, but sometimes I really I feel I get bored myself, you know, to create those things. So if I have to answer like 10 years ago, 10 years ago in Burma is really op oppressive, oppressive, and really, you know, you can't really, you have to do your own self, I don't know how to say, self-censorship first. Self-censorship first. So that is always make me really, really sick. Because you know you have to, you cannot do. I cannot do this. I cannot do that. I cannot. So then finally, it's really you know very limitation to 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 express what you want to say. So that is ten years ago. But you know, when I'm here, also the same thing happened. Actually, I'm here, away from Burma, where is no censorship, no. But you know, I'm living under that situation such a long time so I have that self-censorship is like a second nature can you believe it so then whenever I create some things you know I have that problem so